Patreon page, which is uh, patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to add on to my previous analysis. So, if you even if you have uh, seen my previous analysis on Euro, British Pound, uh, Gold, and Silver, uh, uh, there is enough content in it that you need to do you want to pay attention to uh, see what exactly we're doing or seeing in a smaller time frame analysis. So, I would also repeat my previous analysis, which is a long term analysis for Euro, British Pound, uh, Silver, and Gold. In addition to that, I'll try to uh, add on to a smaller time frame analysis as well. So first of all, we need to look at uh, at Euro. Now, in my previous analysis, I indicated that uh, Euro is indicating, and this is uh, perfectly uh, a particular research uh, done under the methods of W. D. Gann, giving an indication that the next swing that is we expecting is upside. So the next major swing is expected upside. The problem here is that. Uh, on its own uh, for today's uh, traders, uh, retail traders is not good enough information because people want to uh, take advantage of a smaller time frame analysis and that comes uh, that is helped by Elliott wave analysis and we are exactly looking at that. So first of all I did indicate to you guys there is a possibility that we have created a bottom right over here. Uh, we can clearly see that we have an impulsive wave and a corrective wave. I believe right now that the price action is giving us an indication that we have at least it completed the smaller time frame impulsive wave that actually started right from over here or over here. So and that is clear from the extent of the drop. So what are we right now seeing? I believe that uh, this correction that actually started from over here is yet not complete and I'm expecting some sort of uh, a corrective pattern completing right over here. Well, yeah, not a rocket science, isn't it? <laughs> a corrective pattern after impulse. Uh, what I mean to say is that is going to be time consuming. I'm expecting that the price probably uh, is going to dance around uh, here quite a bit and then we are looking for a downward price movement. This can happen in couple of ways. First of all, we have seen price going up and we can see uh, some price movement coming down and then go up. So this kind of price uh, is possible. One thing is possible right over here. That we can come down right over here and can go up. And then create a, a wave uh, which would be balancing this particular wave right over here. The other possibility is that this wave that does not go actually quite deeper. In that case, we can actually jump up and down uh, quite a bit in this particular range right over here. And we can do this as well, right? And we can do this. Uh, do understand that the truncation is possible. This is what I'm showing you uh, theoretically. This is the theoretical bookish knowledge that we can say that uh, the other wave should come down right over here and uh, form probably a support somewhere in this region. This support region is clearly uh, visible and we can see this is important. And the other possibility is that we can see truncation. All right, be, uh, the practical uh, trading is a bit different from the theoretical. The theoretical states that we have a zigzag, a correction, another zigzag right over here in this case. But be aware of the, the truncation. There is a possibility. And once again, that this wave, the center wave, could be quite a bit of mess. So what I'm stating right now here is that if you want, if you can see a good, uh, good high, then definitely go low. And if you do not see opportunity in the in the market, do not take it. Uh, it's not always identifying the pattern. It's trying to see where exactly the price is right now. Uh, we can draw a trend line, but that trend line would not be good enough because we're expecting a, a correction right over here. So. Uh, right now, I'm expecting a corrective behavior. I have given you guys two options. First of all, prices have come down. We can see prices go up and come down. Or we can see that price will stay in this region and then come down. Both possibilities exist. The major interesting thing for us in this is that this corrective behavior or this corrective pattern is giving us an opportunity to go long on Euro. All right. And that should only, only be done uh, when the confirmation comes for the, uh, the pattern completion. Let's say this is the pattern, and then when price crosses above the 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 trend line that was going to that is going to support that this particular pattern, and when prices go above this trend line, that will be giving an indication that we are ready to for the next impulsive move, and that is uh, where the whole analysis comes in for. So it's up to your choice how you want to see what I'm seeing right now as an impulsive corrective, impulsive corrective, another impulsive move. 
As far as the, the larger swing is concerned, I'm definitely bullish on Euro. Uh, I did indicate in, you, uh, in my previous analysis that I'm expecting a larger price movement going downward, uh, going upward actually. And there is a possibility that we might actually see a new higher being formed right over here. Uh, a pretty interesting, I do understand the fundamentals that's going on in, in Europe. Uh, and a lot of a lot of these things happen at different degrees of price wave structures um, so we can see that euro should be tanking theoretically but it has gone actually up and we have seen a, a sharper move downward and then again went up again and we are probably looking for a correction right now so all of this is indication that there is some um, bullish trend probably getting ready we also need to understand that there is probably an accumulation pattern happening so markets are forward-looking as uh, said by one of the analysts and they are actually forward-looking a very good statement um, and I'm expecting that we are the at least the price analysis or the trends that are being told uh, from the markets are right bullish and if you are concerned that okay market should be tanking and then I think market is already tanked quite a bit and I did discuss that uh, it is, uh, in my previous analysis that if you follow the historical analysis of euro Euro is already kind of at a very, very close to the, the bottoms in the yearly bottoms. So we need to understand ourselves. Is Euro actually completely worthless? Or the already bearish, uh, the strength of the bears is giving us uh, a way to the, to the bulls right now? So it's, it's a matter of uh, if we zoom out of the picture and we can see a larger price uh, pattern. And Euro is historically very, very close to the, the bottoms. And... Uh, it's not you and me only no aware of it. A lot of people, uh, large investors, are looking at it and they are probably uh, seeing that it's not a bad opportunity to go long. Enough of that chat. Let's have a look at British Pound. Now, British Pound is also uh, right now a very interesting pattern. I have uh, indicated to you guys on a smaller, uh, on a four-hour time frame that I'm expecting uh, for British Pound to go long right over here and be really strong in next, uh, uh, in next, uh, let's say three to four weeks. Uh, and I did indicate that if you look at these uh, from the top, the price have been every time we saw a drop, we see a, a deeper price movement, we saw a drop uh, and we saw a price movement, which is not deep enough. But if you look at this whole structure, then we can see the, the deeper price movements. And once again, the deeper price movement, once again, uh, we have a swing right over here and another deeper price movement and right over here again, too. Uh, I believe that the particular swing that actually started right from over here is complete right now and we are looking for a major price movement going upward. That's what my analysis is telling. This is the uh, the monthly forecast or the weekly forecast I've given. Let's uh, dive, in, uh, dive into the hourly time frame and see if you can find uh, better price structures. First of all, the uh, when prices were expected right over here, we were expecting kind of this as a flat correction and it the market has given us an indication Although even it's trading at the top, but this particular price movement has given an indication that there is a probability that the whole impulse move that actually started from right over here, that degree is complete. Now we are seeing a correction of a larger degree. Uh, and you can s compare this whole price action as compared to this whole price action, giving us an indication that some form of a larger degree correction is happening. Uh, we also need to pay attention that we are very close to the pay previous highs right over here of the previous swing. So the second, uh, the... Uh, the you can say the last uh, high that we saw in the previous swing is right over here so we can uh, see that the price is actually going on and finding resistance this is the first top and this is the second top you're finding right around the same point so this is pretty significant signal for reversal on a smaller time frame at least and then once again when the price is dropped we can see that the support came in at the previous low uh, second last low when we saw in the previous swing then this is the second last low and this is of course the last low and we can see that the price found support right over here. I'm expecting right now that we are going to see uh, that repetition as well. That will give us a head and shoulder pattern. This will be a reverse head and shoulder pattern. And this will be a trend reversal pattern if that happens. And then we can see the reversal uh, head would be right over here. Left shoulder and right shoulder will be here. And we can see that the pattern would be a flat pattern as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned. I would not be risking my money to go short in this particular. I would definitely be interested in going long uh, because first of all, uh, that will be going along with the main trend and then I'll be clearly uh, saying that we have an impulsive move, a larger corrective move and I would be expecting for a, a good strength uh, price movement that could actually take us to the uh, 
resistance right over here too. So that'll, that'll be interesting trading setup. On a smaller time frame, I've given you guys indication that I'm expecting for the prices to go deep, uh, forming a double bottom with this one. Uh, let's see how things turn out. Now silver has gone definitely more deeper than we expecting. We were last time uh, I did my analysis, it was I, I think it was trading somewhere right over here too, and the the does that change the smaller time frame analysis? Well, it has gone deep. So first of all, there's nothing I can. Uh, I will definitely add that there's some price movement left, and I will add on to it. But as long as the larger time frame analysis is turned, I already mentioned it to you guys. First of all, we have seen. In particular, let's say silver, we have seen this low, and right now we have seen a higher low right over here. So this is an important low, and this is a higher low, giving us indication that uptrend is still intact. There is nothing, although we have seen a deeper correction, and a lot of people seem concerned. I am definitely, definitely positive that we are going to go long. Uh, we are in in uh, in silver and gold. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look on a smaller time frame analysis. There is a possibility that we will see uh, one more price movement going down. Right over here. I'm expecting another price movement going down and then we'll go long right from over here. So this is, there's not much a lot of price movement left in silver to go long. Uh, be really careful. Uh, when you're going long on silver uh, to make sure that the trend lines at least one of the trend line is broken all right so this is the inside uh, trend line that actually is encapsulating the pattern starting from the top so at least be sure that you are actually uh, all going along with the momentum all right so that will be the extended trend line whichever ch you want to see uh, use is your choice and I'm expecting one smaller price movement downward and then you're going long on silver I'm definitely definitely uh, bullish on silver there is nothing has changed we have seen a little more deeper price action but that does not change our analysis on silver gold is also giving us an indication let me see if I can I was just studying some uh, historic history on the chart so don't worry about that uh, let's have a look This particular uh, structure is pretty interesting for support. I will discuss that we are definitely looking for a one price movement more downward. Uh, I can see a pattern. I can identify a pattern here as well. I can discuss that. First of all, we have A, B, and C, a zigzag pattern. We have A, B, C, another zigzag pattern. And then we have A, a B, and C, a zigzag pattern. And we can see that the C is further subdivisible. We have one, two, three, four, and five as well and this is theoretical once again this is theoretical analysis uh, as per book we should be expecting a b and c a fifth wave structure there is a possibility of truncation definitely there is a possibility of truncation uh, we're talking about markets the market do not have to follow uh, the book all right uh, so first of all uh, the there is an interesting uh, thing that I have noted and first of all that if you can uh, see the shape uh, the size of wave one it's almost equal to the size of wave uh, wave three. Let me. So we can see the size is almost equal to that. So if the four wave four has completed, that uh, give us an indication that we are looking uh, for further price movement going down. There is a possibility. In that case, 1910. Uh, should be a good target if price can correction can go a little deeper then you can definitely use that top uh, to see when wave 1 3 and 5 are equal that does happen from time to time in Elliott wave analysis where all smaller degree waves are equal if that happened 1910 is uh, going to be small time target and once again I'm not uh, going to use this target to go short uh, I'm mostly interested in going long and I'll be looking at the price structure if price can actually go from uh, bottom right or right over here and then turn up when the price crosses the, the 
particular trend line right over here that will be the point of going long giving us an indication there is at least some test to it a uh, better way for entry level would be uh, actually uh, to go and wait for this particular break and there is one middle one line as well too if you guys are so concerned about being such at a distance and this one trend line is going to be concerning uh, a b and c so this i think would be a better uh, entry point for going long we are definitely definitely long in my previous analysis uh, i did indicate that i'm long on on silver c uh, silver and gold especially after seeing about 100 and uh, seventy dollar drop in in uh, gold it takes a lot of heart to go long so this is quite a bit of uh, bearish price action that we have seen i'm definitely bullish we are at least going to see a top around 2070 and then we'll discuss more when prices are ranging right over here too wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye